Well, hey guys, did I ever show you my chainsaw powered fishing reel? <laughs> That's a Lewis winch, and uh, I went and during that uh, during that Father's Day sale, I bought another 066. This is the first one I put together. I, I put together the other one, and uh, I think I'm just going to mount this one to this winch. But there's a there's a better way of mounting it. Um, this is pretty much a universal mount that works with like any saw. Um, they came up with this um, just to be more flexible. They could you could really mount it to any saw that can turn a what is that three eighths um, chain. And but the normal or the best way they came up with mounting it is right on this on this bar. But they never finished milling it they would they'd mill a slot and uh, your bar nuts would fit in there and you could adjust it to line this this spline up with this spline on the clutch so I'm thinking I might just go and do that um, this isn't bad but it's a little it's a little flexy this way and you have to be a lot more careful um, you have to run bar oil, or at least a little bit. It doesn't doesn't have to be a lot, but you still have to oil the chain, and it'll just make it more compact and nice. But yeah, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool winch. I've had it for a long time. Um, I didn't have to pay for it. Well, I sort of did uh, years ago probably shoot 10 years ago I had a a one-ton truck a dump jump dump, dump truck and a, a little wood chipper and I'd go around and clean up people's brush piles you know beside their house or whatever or um, I was hire I'd hire out to uh, tree services and stuff but then it, it I mean I, I made pretty good money but once you start dealing with tree services, if they don't have their own chipper already, then you don't want to deal with them because they're flakes. So, I mean, that kind of, I learned that the hard way, you know. But, so I got out of that, but this came along. Um, I was, I was found by a, a guy who wanted this big ravine cleared out of these fallen, um, logs. Um. He, he wanted me to just cut them up and and I don't know what he was expecting. I'd have to split them at the bottom of the ravine and carry each piece of firewood up for him, but I didn't want to do that. So, But he was paying me good money, and uh, it was a pretty good-sized job. And I told him, well, I, I've seen these winches that, I mean, I could just haul the logs up with a winch. And he thought that was a good idea and, you know, save us a lot of work, save me a lot of work anyway. Um, and so I told him, okay, well, I'll, I'll buy the winch and uh, start doing your job, you know, we'll do it next month, you know, when the winch comes and I get it hooked up to my saw. Anyway, what happened is he called me, but it was probably a couple days before I was going to start the job and said his wife, and him decided to uh, to not clear the the logs out. They uh, had decided to just sell the the property next door, you know, the big ravine, and uh, so they weren't going to worry about it. And I said, "Well, man, I felt I felt bad, you know. I was not, wasn't going to make any money." And uh, he said, "But you know that that winch that you you went and bought, um, we want to pay you for that, you know, because you wouldn't have bought it if." If we hadn't had this job come along so it was cool they they paid for it, it was I think it was about nine hundred dollars back in the day I think this is the I don't know this this company Lewis winch they've been around for a long time but I think this is the like second iteration I think they're working on their third or fourth or something but they make different ones now but anyway they're pretty cool I think it's a God, I don't know what this cable is, but I think the whole winch set up with a nice strong saw like this probably it probably could straight pull 
four thousand pounds if the if the cable's strong enough. Not that you ever would. You'd double it up or snatch block and stuff, but you know, make it pull a lot. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna work on this and try to. I, since I <laughs> I built another 066, um, I think I'm just gonna take the felling spikes off of this and uh, mount it up here like a one of their really good winches. Um, they had they had a three or four different ways of mounting these, and I think the best way, the the most, the way that fits the most saw is this way, but the best way was just mounted directly up here, but they didn't finish the the work on it. So, I think I can just measure, like center, center, between these two, and then use the little steel plate, um, once I mark that, you know that front piece of, of uh, C channel, then I can use that that plate, the steel plate behind these, to mark out all the holes that I have to drill, and uh, should get pretty darn accurate. And then for the for the uh, you know the uh, the drive is right here for the sprocket. Um, what I think I could do is take two of these, they're large spline sprockets. And I think I can just braise them together, and they'd be enough to to uh, bridge between the two. I hope. Uh, I might have to do three of them, but I, I don't think there's any way I can make that spline or and that the uh, adapters that Lewis Wind sells are like crazy expensive, like forty-five bucks or some something, something like that. When I can just take a couple of these, they're two bucks a piece and I think I can braise them or silver solder them together I have to take this clip out and this washer and then you know that sprocket I could probably use this to braise onto this one or something and that way all right well I got I got the thing all modified it came out pretty well I think um, I need to braise these together now see how you got two different splines there and I'll need up I'll, I'll do that off <laughs> off the machine of course and get those lined up real accurate so they they run true and then uh, yeah it should be good I might even I might even um, offset the splines so like they both can't walk this way or they both can't walk that way it kind of it'll make it so they have to ride kind of in that middle group there's enough room in there for a washer but I think I'll just mix match the splines so that they they can't walk around that might work or I'll throw a washer in between since there's plenty of room and uh, brace them up that way but yeah a lot more compact it looks a lot better um, instead of being like this long um, took out that little phony little bar uh, where'd I put it I don't even know where I put it Huh. And I, instead of drilling all the holes for everything, I just took the adjuster out, and that saved me those two holes that I would have had to drill. But yeah, I'll put that in a plastic bag somewhere and keep it. Oh, here's the here's the part I took off the mini bar. Boy, it's pretty dirty. Um, I'll probably just have to get some sm shorter bolts. Not that it matters, it just keeps the oil in. Um, this is the side of the cover that comes off. So that side, I can get some smaller bolts or, God, if I really felt like it, I could just TIG weld them closed or JB weld them closed. But yeah, pretty cool. I'll get that thing braced up and when I get fired up, maybe I'll let you all see how, how it works. Alright, take care.